definitely very excited. I think it means a lot to not only all the students, but their families as well. University of Texas at Austin senior Bryce Jacobs remembers four years ago when his high school graduation became an unconventional ceremony because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This Saturday, he's set to graduate college, a huge accomplishment in his eyes. You know, given that the class of 2024 also wasn't able to experience in-person graduations due to the pandemic, this year getting to be able to experience that for college means a lot. Monday. A spokesperson for the school told me that despite several weeks of pro-Palestinian protests on campus, there are no plans at this time to cancel graduation. That's not the case for some universities across the country. Just today, Columbia University announced its commencement is canceled this year because of the ongoing protests on campus. We're definitely super grateful for the support of the, of the university. Chantelle Cancel is graduating with her master's degree this weekend. She says whether graduation happens or not shouldn't be based on the protests. I think it comes down to like the work you put in and that's why graduation happens. And that's what you're expecting when you come in. UT says there's normally an extensive safety and security plan in place for large scale events like graduation. But Cancel and Jacobs both admit they're still weary of something potentially happening during Saturday's ceremony. I'm hoping that even if there are protests on the day of commencement, that they let it be peaceful. And there is, but definitely a little bit of anxiety, just given the fact that there's been all of these um, unplanned events and protests. Despite her concerns, Cancel says she feels it'd be inappropriate for UT to cancel graduation. And it's not just seniors that are at the protest, so, but they're the ones getting punished if you take graduation. So. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.